do snow. Yeah. Eight and home bake. No. <laughs> Say fluffy bunnies. Fluffy bummies. I count it. Right, see, look, the most empty. They're for the public, no, Dee. Well, I'm fanging and I'm hiding a tea. There. What's this? That is a blank piece of paper. And what am I supposed to do with this? Do can write on it that do sorry for lying to me. <sighs> and do has the length of time it takes me to go and get the flip chart. It's no restraint. I've got the raffle good, do should try one. I am not here to eat home bakes. Well, they might as well. There'll be nothing ever happening this night. How'd you kind that? I look like better, Shadi. An open evening to discuss the new library that will move to the old library to be held in the new library, which will at some time in the future no longer be the new library, but the old library, and what it should look like within award-winning garden designers? Oh, my actual. Seriously? I can. I got them up printed about four weeks ago. To put them up in the shops, then I completely forgot, and I'm really, 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 really sorry. I am not an award-winning garden designer. Look, do Scott was written down you and there's award winning garden designers. <laughs> oh well, it's just as well. I didn't put them up down, eh? Mm -hmm. Do you even cane what you do in a day? Well, yeah, I design stuff. Yeah, interiors. Do those kind of an interior designer doesn't do? Well, yeah. How come it says garden, Dan? Oh, for my... Maybe it's got something to do with mm, the person that wrote the poster? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. But you can, I could design a garden if I wanted to. I'm going to go on a training course. Assertiveness training on how not to kill your work colleague or how to persuade your bosses that your work colleague is completely incompetent and that they would need to redeploy her somewhere else so she no longer gets on your nerves. Still in a mood? I am in a perfectly good mood. Hormonal, maybe? <laughs> you should just shut die trap. Did you get the projector? No, I didn't think there was any point. But I made a PowerPoint. Well, there'll be nobody here, so I thought I'd just save myself five minutes and no bother. I spent ages on that PowerPoint. Was well, that right, though? Hey, for another time, I'm actually doing you a favour. Did you put the advert in the paper? No. Radio Shetland? SABC? No. A post on Facebook? No. What about that press release I prepared for you? Did you email that? Uh, no. Do have tell the library staff. <laughs> How come we are in the building, Dad? Caught the cleaner on her way out. Well, that was good, otherwise we'd have been outside of the briggy stains. The cane, right? <laughs> no, the dust, the cane, right? Oh, done a dart. It's the one at home back. Does that mean I can have another one? Okay. Might be a cup of tea. Yeah, I'll mark in for thee. Did you prepare anything for tonight? Well, I did go and buy the home bags. 
Well, that's a mercy. Again, there comes a point when you wonder if they'll stop this printing books. Oh, they'll never do that. Well, you can add books in here and then down in the basement. They are really needing to replenished or reshuffled or rearranged or something. But then if they're in the sky, then anybody can read them at any time. By in the sky, you mean an, an online reader? Mm. The Cludes. Yeah, up there we die. Hey. I hear Clude. Ah, I bet you does. <laughs> Never been in here before. No? No. Why? Well, no, I was in the Alden, but never been here. It not cool. Mm. <coughs> I'm a very proud book snob, you know. I like the new, it's shiny thing. Well, that's why this rang. I'm not rang, it's just, it's just what I choose. But a library book tells you a story. <laughs> Duh. Mare is just the words within the book. It starts with a cover, climbed with a protective covering to protect it from all the hands that's going to head onto it tightly. Then you start inside the book where you get the first story, a pretty slip of paper with a dit stamp on it. <laughs> and sometimes you'll notice there's an initial or a mark left by something to mind them on that they read this book afore. Then, as you start to read the pages, you kind that your eyes are looking at words that has been shared with many others. There might be a spill of coffees or a memory far between the pages. And then, as you come to the end of the book, you kind that your own memories are left in the spine, left there for others to share. Then you close the book. And the back cover looks at you, reminding you to return it to the library, ready for the next person. And then their story will start with that pretty slip of paper and I your fingerprints that were left on the pages. Is the one a home back? <laughs> no. Hmm. What's to been doing? <laughs> well, this is what I actually prepared for tonight. Three buckets with different coloured water. <gasps> Lovely. I'm so prudity. Thanks. Why? <laughs> I was just waiting for thee to ask me this. I have done a scientific experiment. And this is the research results. And uh, what does this have to do with the redesign of the interiors of the new library? Everything. <laughs> Explain. Well, I stood in public places. I should have stood here. This is a public place. Mm. Well, one was for toilet, one was for bed, and one was for everywhere else, including coaches, gardens, public transport, and under the stairs. Under the stairs? Harry Potter. Right. I'm so excited to get out the sprint! Isn't that brilliant? Aha, <clears throat> uh -huh. so tell me how this research conclusion translates into the design of the interiors of the new library. Duquesne, the job. Just wait. <laughs> Individual toilet cubicles at the end of each row of books. <laughs> Shelves of books that flip up to reveal a massive, comfy couch. <laughs> a 
massive bed with fluffy cushions that's suspended through the ceiling with ladders going right up to it. A cubby hall under the stairs, complete with reading light and a box of prile to make it feel just like a cupboard. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> My personal favourite, a battery operated book trolley that you can jump aboard and sit on as it moves among the shelves, <laughs> just like being on a book bus. <sighs> A garden in the middle of a floor, complete with garden bench. <laughs> a garden inside the building that Prider is outside. <laughs> that would mark was garden designers, though. No garden designers. Oh, how could I forget? We should go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I'm really mad at the toilet 